Hello everyone and welcome. In the following video, we will go over the steps needed to populate our database with property listing from the MLS using Pyrus feed. We're going to be running this service outside of a Docker container, so we're gonna need to install first some dependencies. So first thing that we're gonna do, we're gonna traverse to Pyrus feed, and then inside of the folder, we're gonna find this file called Docker file, which is a script in charge of creating the Docker image. Inside of it, once we open it, we're gonna find some commands that they're being run in order to install these dependencies. What we're gonna do is we're gonna copy this command line and then we're gonna go over our terminal and then we're gonna do sudo and then we're gonna paste. We click enter. Once the installation is completed, we're gonna get this package from Librets. So we're gonna copy this and then we're gonna paste it in the browser. We're gonna do sudo and then we're gonna paste. And then this variable here, uh, the reds version, we're gonna change it to, we're gonna delete this. We're gonna change it to 1.6.1. We're gonna click enter. And then once this package is unloaded, we're gonna uh, unzip it. Uh, we're gonna do uh, sudo tar and then xzf, and then the name of the file, which in our case is 1.6 uh, tar.gc. We're gonna click enter, and then we're gonna move into the newly downloaded folder. Once we're inside the directory, uh, we're gonna become super user. We're gonna do sudo su, so we're just gonna copy this. Uh, right click, copy. We're gonna paste it, we're gonna click enter and we should be done. Now that the file is configured, we're gonna do uh, make and make install. Once the make and the make install finish running, we're gonna go back to our directory and then we're gonna remove the file that we downloaded. So we're gonna do rm minus rf and then the name of the files in our case was 1.6 star.gxz we click enter and then we remove the file. Next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna move over to the Pyrus feed folder and we're gonna run this script. So we can establish a connection between MLS and our API so that we can populate our database. Once inside the Pyrus feed folder, we're gonna go over the migrate.py, we're gonna open it and we're gonna edit some of the values. So first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna change uh, the API URL, which in our case is gonna be uh, localhost and we're gonna use uh, zero, zero, and then the port, which is uh, 8,000. Now we're gonna go back to our terminal and we're gonna traverse into this Pyrus feed folder. So we go breeze, Pyrus feed, and then once inside the Pyrus feed folder, what we wanna do is we want to install this package slumber, which is not currently installed, which is one of the requirements in order to run this, this script. So what we do is we do sudo uh, pip3 and then install minus r and requirements.txt. So once all our dependencies are installed, we're gonna go over and we're gonna run Pyrus feed. So in order to run Pyrus feed, we're gonna type Python3 uh, migrate and then we're gonna pass these arguments. Uh, we only right now in this tutorial we're interested only in populating our database with property listings. So we're gonna pass these arguments uh, minus n for no location, minus i for no images, and then we're gonna set the debugger uh, slash l minus l, and then we're gonna do uh, d for the debugger so that way we can see how the connection uh, is being established. So before we run it, I'm gonna show you to the left. This is uh, we have uh, Django uh, running in the background, so we're gonna see how the two establish a connection and they communicate. So we click enter. And we can see the packages returning uh, 201 uh, code, so they're being successfully uh, being put into our database. While we do this, let me make some clarifications. Uh, this Pyrus feed is supposed to run inside a container and we're only printing this uh, as a 
debugging method so that way we can see how the connection is being established if this is where to run in the inside the container we're gonna disable this debugger because this can cause some performer issues because we're uh, printing in necessary values in our terminal. Now, it should be clarified that populating our database with all this newly added property listing to an empty database can take some time. Because this is only a demo, I have stopped uh, Pyrus feed from running. And now we're gonna move into PG admin so that we can visualize the data being stored in the database. Also, we're gonna use uh, the API so that we can see visually uh, our property listings. Once, it's, once inside PG Admin, we're gonna go over the tables and we're gonna find the one called real estate property dump, which is the one that we just populated with. If we click on view the data in the selected object, we can see all the properties that they were stored. In our case, we only store 500 uh, properties and we can see all the different fields, how they were populated with data. And as we scroll, to the right and also down we can verify all this now if we go over to our api we can also verify that the properties were populated in the database so if we go to property dump once this load we can see all the properties being shown in a json file type format we can verify that yes uh pirates feed work and we were able to populate our local database with data this concludes our video i hope this is of great help and have a wonderful day